Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. I am hunting tonight with some friends on Quattro Kalinas. Uh, we're taking a look at the new uh, assault rifle pack that uh, Jeremy Wah donated to my channel. So thanks again. A shout out to Jeremy there for doing that. And uh, I really do appreciate the guns. They're awesome. Um, so far, we have three new rifles in several different color schemes. We've got uh, the Zarza 10, which is a 308 round. Uh, we have the 223 Ambusher, which, which is Zarza 15. I'm not sure what the Zarza 15 is, aside from, I think it's like an AR-15. Um, and then, um, last but not least, we have the 22LR Zarza 15, which is a very quiet 22LR rifle. This thing's really awesome. It's kind of like a stealth gun. Um, and, of course, these, once again, it uses the 22LR ammo that some of the other rifles use. So let's take a look at that real quick here. All right, so we have, this is the other rifle that uses the 22 LR ammo. Once again, uh, 22 LR is only for, uh, it's rim fire basically, and it's only for uh, small prey. So you're not gonna be shooting any big animals with these rifles. This is gonna be for, uh, I think raccoons, definitely different kinds of birds, um, rabbits, so um, you can have this or you can use the new uh, uh, Zarza. The performance is the same between the guns. This one's really quiet, though. But, I mean, the other one wasn't too loud either. The, the original 22 LR that we had was not too loud either. So, uh, and then next up, we have the competitors here. We have the 223 Ambusher. Now, uh, one of the first guns you get early on in the game if you want to hunt rabbits and stuff is the regular 223 docent so that's going to be equivalent to the docent uh, this is a great gun also uh, my only complaint with the 223s is that they really are for even though they say they can hit size four animals it's really size three and down uh, if you tr you can shoot size four animals with them but you need to be close uh, and you need to um, make sure you hit them like perfectly otherwise the animal's going to run off uh, so the same problem that happens with the docent and some of the other 22 or the 233 rifles is going to happen with this rifle. You're going to end up shooting an animal and it's going to go running away. So make sure you try to keep it, uh, I would say like like 60 pounds or less on the animal and then you're okay. But if it's bigger than 60 pounds, I would move up to the biggest gun in the group. And this gun is awesome. Uh, the Zarza 10 308, uh, this thing will knock down Lots of big animals, plenty of knockdown powder, a power for fours and fives, and it is a wicked gun. Uh, I like using these for, you know, the mountain goats, uh, mouflon. That's going to work well for ibex, um, any of those four animals. Uh, deer, it's still great for deer. Um, it does do larger animals, elk, uh, bear, stuff like that. But just to keep in mind, when you get to the really big animals, uh, be careful you don't shoot any nines. If you've got a buffalo or cape buffalo, that kind of stuff, you will get points off because this only covers up to size eight animals. So the size nine animals, you're going to get penalized if you shoot any of them with this gun. So penalized. I'm not English. Not penalized. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's get these guns out there and have some fun. Uh, i got to set them up real quick, so I'll be right back. All right, so I have a roe deer inbound. She is little. And another one, hang on, what do we got here? What is she? She's a minor with a 72. Oh, it's a male. I'm going to shoot it with the 223 and see what happens. Trying to get a hard shot. Oh, man. Okay, he's, he's kind of smooshed that idea. I mean, that's, <laughs> you can't get any closer with a, with a 223 than that. Poor deer. All right, let's see. Well, he's not going to make it very far. That was a nice shot. Let's go see what we got. He's got to be dead by now. So that was a... <laughs> he got right in there, didn't he? Yep. Okay, so let's go follow him and see what we got. Okay, so we have our first kill with the 223 rifle. Once again, this animal's a little bit large for a 223, but we did. Uh, we were really close. 
So I was able to pound that thing right into that poor animal. Uh, so this animal weighs, let's see, well, 61 pounds. So I would say, actually, he's in the range of animals that I would shoot with this gun. Um, anything under 80 pounds is okay. Uh, gold, gold deer himself. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Look at his legs. They're like, oh, I got hit. Yeah, he didn't go far. That was a nice shot. Um, so once again, 223, and it's, you, you heard there, it was a real quiet firing gun. It's not, it doesn't make a lot of noise, so it's not going to scare many animals off. The only the ones that are pretty like real close. So, uh, that was a nice shot and we definitely got some good points on that one. Um, so let's continue hunting. Um, I, I know there's other roe deer around here. There's probably a bunch of them and hopefully we'll get some, uh, I ibex here. So yeah, there's another roe deer screaming right now. It's <laughs> run. All right, we'll be back. So we got a couple roe deer inbound. There's a real nice one behind me and up the mountain, but yeah, these guys are in range. Uh, I just, oh, look at this one right here. She's real close. I'm not going to shoot the females. Come closer. Make it easier for me to get you when you die. Come on. Come on. Here, little fella. Come on, little guy. Mm. I think his interest has stalled. Oh, no, he's coming on up. Come on up. So once again, we're going to try to do this with the 223. Though, honestly, at this distance, it might be a better choice to go with the, the uh, 308. He's got, this is not a good angle for me. I can't really get into his lungs. So unless I get a heart shot, he's not going to go down. And once again, this is a lighter round. So if I, I, I really need to get into his guts. There's this guy. This guy's actually a nicer trophy. So we're going to go, we'll go for him. Oh, man. Boom. That was it. These guys are going to run away. Oh, well. <laughs> no, come back. Oh, well. <laughs> That's the guy I wanted, actually. I just I didn't think he would come up. So let's see how we did with this guy. A lot of muzzle drop with the 223. We'll see how this guy did. I, once again, I don't know. We'll have to find out what happened here. First, I got to find the spot where I hit him. Let's see what kind of damage we did. Now, what I'm surprised about is that it didn't highlight him again. That's it. Oh, that's not good. So now we got an injured deer running around. And once again, this is why I like the 223, but I don't love the 223. Um, unless you have a really good shot, you're you're in for trouble. And the problem was he had me quartered. He was he was angled when I shot him instead of being straight on. If I had a straight on shot, I would have got him. But I think it probably just went in his side and then glanced. And I, I ended up not penetrating. So. <sighs> it's not great. Um, well, let's. I, he may not have even ta gotten. No, he hasn't died. That sucks. So he's running around with a wound, and it isn't even going to kill him. And he's just going to slowly fester and die. Because that's humane. So that's frustrating. Because that I do run into that with this gun. I really like the gun, but it's not. Like I said, it's like hunting with the air rifle. You gotta make sure you get a good shot at the target. Now this might be him right there. Uh, if I can get another good shot into him, <gasps> bunnies! Oh, change of target. <laughs> Let's see. There's one. We don't want to do any more than that because we might have two animals dead here. So. So 
So we got the rabbit. We still have the deer running around. The deer, let's see. And now I won't be able to tell if the deer died or not. Uh, but the bunny, that's, so that's, that's, I wanted to show you. I'm trying to get a kill with each gun. Uh, and so now you've seen the smaller uh, 15, the, the 22 LR. And there's a little gold bunny. Well, that's a gold bunny. I was not expecting it to be a gold. That's nice. Poor bunny. But there, bye-bye bunny. So that was nice. So if I find the road deer, I will peg him, but I don't think we're going to find him again after that. That was luck. All right, we have got a herd of Ibex inbound. I'm hoping that they stop for the evening for a little bit to rest. I never did find their need zone on top of the mountain, but where are the rest of them? They were coming up over here. Now they're running. Hmm. I want them to switch over to Calm. And none of these are the good ones that we saw before. I'm not... These are going to get shot with a 308, not a... Uh, the 223 just doesn't... They're too big. I don't want to make the animal suffer. Are they just going to walk off the other side? Ugh. And let's see here. I know. So as soon as I try to record. <sighs> Hold on, folks. Okay, that was really cute. That was my nine-year-old calling to tell me, I love you and tell the doggies I love them and tell Moni I love her. <laughs> that was really cute. So let's see here. I And during the phone call, the goats wandered off the mountain. Okay, there's their feed zone. So now they should hang there for a little while. They're uh, kind of far range, but not super far. I don't. Really like shooting animals at long, long distances, but this isn't too bad. There's 70. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh-oh. Well, that's the red deer here. That That's the female. Okay. So, cool. So we should be able to... They're, they're pretty long range out, but... All right, so we're going to wait a couple of minutes and see if we get any other incoming goaties. What stinks is their their need zone is behind all the bushes, so I don't even remember where they've gone aside from they're over here somewhere. I'm going to have to mark it with my marker. Um, so the last animals that we spotted were red, let's see, red deer, red deer. Um feed zone so these were spotted here so we're going to go ahead and pop a remove waypoint place it come on mm. I don't know why I can't place here that's weird oh well never mind <laughs> it's not working alright so we'll find him once I'm ready for a shot I'll get you guys back I mean I suppose we could end his life He's asking for it. Oh. Now he's he, now he's nervous. Wait, no. Don't run away. Oh, dang it. Hold still. Just like that. Clunk. And let's see how quick he goes down. It, eh, he's dead. <laughs> he's like, but I was just trying to find some food. Okay. So he is where... We're going to mark this. I can't. <laughs> okay. my what, For whatever reason, my mouse stopped working in my menu. That's super annoying, but okay. So let's go see if we can find him, because now I can't, can't mark him on the map, so I'm disoriented. We'll find him pretty quick, though. I'll be back. So we found ourselves a lame red deer with a pretty crappy rack, but, I mean... Well, that's not too bad. Silver, silver, that's not bad. Okay, you were wrong, honey. Diamond on the red deer is 251. Not 1,000. Maybe that's the point structure, but that's not their trophy score. Okay. So that means that that one that we saw could have been a diamond. <laughs> oh, well. 
All right, I'm going to – we'll keep going. All right, so I've got this uh, – this is the largest animal I can find right now. I've got him earmarked for capping right here. So when he gets past these rocks, we're going to – let's see. Is he He's 120 yards. I mean, we might be able to do – eh, I think the 308 is just more humane. So he should be coming out somewhere around here. Unfortunately, I just lost him. Oh, man, look at this. What? A whole bunch of them. Uh, it's like the Incredibles. Um, I think I got a target change here. What do you got? 115. Oh, what is that? 184. <gasps> oh, that's mine. So we're going to switch over to 308 quick. Shorten the yardage. Get that thing out and bam! That's I can't. How do you pass that goat up? Yeah, man. Sorry, we had to let those other ones go. There's no way I was gonna let that sheep go. Mm -mm. That's a real trophy right there. Let's see. Oh yeah, he went right down. Well, that's a 308. Now, that's a big... <laughs> look, look at those horns. Oh, he's only a gold. Oh, he's short by like 20 points. That's a nice goat, man. I think I need to keep him. That that. Look at those horns. That is nice. We're keeping that one. Yep. So I'm going to have to go to my Iberian. Yep. Sweet. That was nice. That was awesome. All right. Why do we suck? We're rocking it. All right. So I'm set out here about 250 yards away from our prey. Got a couple nice Ibex, B-site Ibex here. That's the nicest one right there, 167. I don't think that's a diamond, but... Definitely a gold. Uh, i trying to see if there's any other. Really sparse up here. Uh, nothing over here. Usually we've got a bunch of animals. I've been waiting here all morning since about 4 o'clock in the morning, and nothing has showed up except for this little group of Ibex. I don't. I guess this map got reset, though, so that could be part of the deal. There's one up there, too. There's a female somewhere in here. But I'm happy with this one. He's 216 yards. So I'm going to set my sights on my gun for 160. This is the 308. And we're going to aim a little bit. And uh, good hit. Mm. He's dead. So nice hit. Ooh, that's, a, that's a pretty one. That white one is really kind of unique looking. So we're just going to hang here for a little bit. Um... They'll run off, but I'm going to see if they come back. See if I can't pick another one up, and then we'll... I think we got every animal. I know we got that one rabbit. So we've killed an animal of each size with this gun uh, and with the 223. You guys have seen all the guns in action. I think that's what I pretty much wanted to get to you in this video. So um, we've had some good kills. Yeah, look, they're already turning. I want that silver one, too. I want him to come back, but they're already turning around and heading back, it looks like. So we'll get them. I'll try, I'm going to wait a little bit, see if he comes back, and if he does, then we'll try to take him. Otherwise, we'll go collect those trophies, and I will uh, show you what we're putting in. Obviously, that goat's going to go into my trophy lodge, so I'll take you there, and we'll we'll do that. So I'll be back in a minute. And so they've come back, and they are relaxing. Um... But he's not at a good angle for me to shoot him, so I'm going to wait a little bit and see what happens. What that? I'm going to have to shoot this guy up front. He's just not. He's going to stay like that. So once he puts his head up, let's see if we can't get a, a nice shot in there. Nope. <laughs> Funk. Whoop. Heart shot. There we go. 
Ooh, these guys are close. I didn't even see them. We got a whole other herd of what? These are B-Site, also female. A whole herd of B-Site female. <laughs> We're the, so they're, st they're starting to show up now around noon. So... <laughs> I think we're we're done hunting here, though. I don't want to disturb them anymore. I'd like them to kind of naturally fill into their places. We've got two dead goats uh, on the map, and we're going to go collect those. So that was a nice heart shot right there with the 308. Uh, I don't really like shooting animals in the front. I try to go for the lungs because it's a guaranteed kill. But sometimes you got to kind of flex a little and uh, get that heart shot, and that was a nice shot there. Uh, aimed a little bit higher so because I knew it was going to drop. And there's our females running away. I didn't really want to scare them away, though, but I didn't. I heard them. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. They need to populate this area because it's not. This map's been reset since the last time I played on it, and so we have no need zones or anything. So this is our first guaranteed need zone. <laughs> I need the other ones to start popping. So anyway, I'll be back. Man, the cheese done so, fell out of his sandwich. Stop people. Look at that poor goat. <laughs> well, the good news is he died quick. He had no idea what that was about. He just blinked and he was dead. Painless. So what is he? No. He's fur type gray. Interesting. Flesh, lung, heart, and liver. Gold harvest. Uh, 191 is diamond, so we don't really have any diamonds around. But that was a nice kill. I'm not going to keep him, but we have a, we, I have a lot of Ibex <laughs> in my lodge. I don't need any more Ibex unless they're diamonds. And uh, then here's our next guy that we canned. Poor fella. We bastinated him. He died fast. All right, so there's our other guy. He is an orange Ibex. Four easy. 154. A little bit lower scoring, actually, than the other one. So definitely not a diamond, but still a nice goat. So there's that. And so uh, I'm going to head to my trophy lodge and put in my nice, pretty, uh, well, actually, I'll take you with me. So since we've been hunting on Quattro Kalinas, I felt it was only proper to come to the lodge for Quattro Kalinas. We have all kinds of cool trophies that I've captured over the years. I don't think I've had many diamonds, um, but there's some cool displays I've done. This is the one with all the different types of Ibex that you can get from the map. Um, nice red deer up there, some warthogs. This is that wolf, the mission wolf, the phantasm, whatever it is, phantasma. <laughs> what do you call it? Why are you laughing at me? And other wolf, this is kind of the wolf room. We'll get more as time goes on. This is the mouflon that we caught tonight, thinking that that's a pretty good horns, right? And then look at that one. Look at this one. Yeah, so they're all, that was good, but these are all good. We got an albino right there. Pretty cool stuff. And a bunch of more <laughs> different kinds of ibexes. Got a melanistic one right there. Some crazy ibex horns. And so that is my Quattro Kalinas, you know, uh, I got one lodge for each map. I kind of try to keep them half separate. Um, so what that means is there's not a lot of animals now, but as I hunt these maps, hopefully over the years of me playing this game, they'll get fuller and fuller until we eventually get Call of the Wild 3 or Hunter 3 or whatever, and these all go away. But I don't think it will. I don't, you don't think we ever will? No. It's always going to be Call of the Wild 2. I don't know. This is a great game. That's true, the Hunter Call of the Wild. It's a great game. I've had so many years of fun of this game. And uh, so anyway, have a great game. Uh, have a great game. Have a great night, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, boys help. And I will see you next time on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hopefully you enjoyed this little pre like review, preview, whatever, of the new weapons that were released this week. See you next time. Bye.